Hi again, everybody. Here's a special report from Paper News 24-7. I'm Frank Phillips reporting. Friday at noon was the deadline for independent candidates to get their names on the general election ballot come November. It was also the deadline for the Democrats and Republicans to fill out their slate of candidates for the November general election as well. We have the uh, final results here. These are the people who are going to be on your ballot come November 4th. I want to start out with the list of judge candidates for Superior Court 1. Judge David Ald is retiring and uh, there are three candidates who seek that seat. They are first of all the Republican Heather Perkins Dennison, the Democrat Ray S. Kirtley, and we are told that John K. Baird filed as an independent. Now he is on the list that we received from the uh, county clerk's office. However, they could not ascertain that he had been accepted by the Secretary of State's office and judicial candidates have to uh, go through the Indiana Secretary of State's office before their names go on the ballot. Looking at uh, countywide elections elsewhere, otherwise I should say, County Assessor, we have one candidate, Sherry L. Bentley, who is the incumbent. She was named by a special Republican caucus a few weeks ago. Jennifer J. Andell is the Republican candidate for County Auditor. For County Commissioner District 2, we have two candidates, the incumbent Jim Fulwider, the Republican, and uh, his challenger is an independent, Patrick T. Burns, who filed on Friday morning. For County Council District 1, we have two candidates, the incumbent Richard L. Chastain and his uh, challenger, which is Howard J. Polchik. Now, uh, Chastain is the Republican, Polchik is running as a Democrat. County Council District 2, Don Mills is the lone candidate, he is a Republican. County Council District 3, we have two candidates, Gail Lowe, the Republican, and uh, his challenger is an independent, Mark Smith. For uh, County Council District 4, we have one candidate, that is Mark Davidson. For County Sheriff, just one candidate, and that is the current sheriff, Mark A. Castile. He's running as an independent, as he did four years ago. County Treasurer Janet B. Johnson is, uh, or Janet Johnson is the uh, uh, county treasurer. She's the incumbent and uh, she is the lone candidate running for election to county treasurer's office. And uh, then we have town township board and trustee candidates. Now there are several township boards that are electing members. We are going to uh, give you the names of those township trustees where there are more than three candidates running because the uh, township uh, boards uh, all have three candidates on them. For example, Scott Township, there are four candidates running, John Bell, Judith Eads, Nathan Hester, and Patrick Wilhite. That's for uh, the Scott Township Board. For Walnut Township Board, we have five candidates running. Dennis Wills, Cheryl McClaskey, Gary Needham, Terry Feltner, and Daniel Keffer. And for Township Trustee, we have uh, one township where there are two candidates for Township Trustee. That is uh, Madison Township, where the incumbent David Layton, a Republican, is being challenged by Gregory Fuller, who is an independent. So stay tuned to Paper News 24-7. We'll keep you up to date with the election uh, stories as they happen right up through November 4th, the day that you'll go to the polls, we hope. I'm Frank Phillips reporting. We'll see you later.